Kelly Isla from Rulo. Welcome back. Today we're going to begin processing the alpaca fiber that we washed. So we're first going to start out with some hand picking and then we're going to move over to the drum carter. Let's get started. Here is the alpaca fiber that has been washed and at this stage we're going to be doing some hand picking and eliminating a lot of the vegetable matter. The bigger pieces can be picked out and a lot of the smaller stuff is going to come out as you're picking. So I just pull off a hunk and begin by opening the fibers and pulling them apart. While you're doing this, a lot of the small pieces of vegetable matter are coming out. And if you run across a second cut, you're able to get that pulled out too. Once this has been all picked apart and we've cleaned it fairly well, what we'll be doing then is putting it onto the drum carter. So you just continue to pull apart and you'll see by doing this that a lot of the vegetable matter is coming out. We are ready to begin carting. So I've gathered a few supplies. So I've got two dowlings that I'll use to remove the bat. I use an old knitting needle to break the bat off of the drum and a piece of material that I use when I'm wrapping up. I get started here with some of the fiber that we hand picked apart. In order to get fiber really, really clean, you have to be quite patient. And so what I find works the best is to open up the fiber more and you'll still probably find pieces of vegetable matter that you'll want to pick out. But the more I open it up, the easier it is to see that. And just lay on the Get my brushing gauge here. So you're just going to continue to add really, really, really fine amounts. And it's surprising how much vegetable matter actually does come out through the process. So even though stuff was handpicked that looked relatively clean, we can see that it was not. Pretty much got all the fiber on that I want, so I'm just going to use the burnishing brush. That just gives us a nice even surface. And before I remove the bat, I'm just going to go through when you're dealing with really clean alpaca it can often get quite staticky so I just use a water jug here with a little bit of hair conditioner in there and then that way you can just give a light spritz it's not wet but it will help cut down on the static now we're going to remove the bat so I'm going to disengage the brush and I just use a old knitting needle to break that bat. There we go. And I'm going to start by putting a dowel here. The cloth there. Then my other dowel and then I'm just going to begin to roll off and you might want your brush here I'm not going to get too fussed about getting the drum super cleaned off at this point because we're going to be doing quite a lot of the alpaca fiber here 
when we're rolling this close to the drum, we tend to get majority of it. And because we use the cloth, we can just pull it open, take off the dowels, pull off the cloth, and that's gonna be the first time through. And we're just gonna check, and so we can see with that first time through, how much vegetable matter is on that tray. I'll likely put this through a couple more times. So I'm just gonna engage the brush. And I'm just gonna pull off some of this. And again, I'm gonna open it really, really, really thinly because that way if there's any vegetable matter lurking in there, I can find it. Or there might be little knots that you'll wanna pull out. Most of those adhere to the liquor brush, but just to be safe, if you want really nice clean fiber to spin with. And I am going to just give a light spritz here because it is quite staticky. Then I'm just going to go ahead and do the second pass. Here's the second pass and the fibers are getting pretty nicely aligned. I do see the odd bit of vegetable matter so I might put it through one more time. Again going very thin so that I can eliminate most because I don't think you ever get all and then it'll be ready for spinning. I do hope that this video gave you a few different tips that will help you process your own alpaca fiber. Until next time, this is Leila from Merloth. Thank you for watching.